Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel video, we will see a new feature of Laravel 7 is Fluent String. These are the points that we are going to cover in this video. So, first of all, we will see what is the Fluent String. Then we will see the old way of the string methods that we uh, used with the string and the fluent strings way of the string methods. So, first question is here, what is the fluent string? So basically, fluent string will allow you to make a chaining of your methods like this. Method A, method B and method C, which is not present yet in the laravel right so in the old way what actually we have to do we will assign like this m1 and now we just do it like uh, a is and we just use like this but this is not an efficient way in the previously but now we can use the uh, chaining method so now let's see first of all i will just show you the example of the old way with the string then i will show you the new way uh, which you call the fluent string so I already have a string which is hi let's learn the laravel 7 and if I'm just going to print it um, let's add the h1 tag so that we can just see it more clear like h1 tag dot dollar info and now let's close the h1 tag like this all right so now let's check the output first of all here you can see that we have a same output with it so now i just want to make uh, the replace this uh, hi with the hello so what i can do dollar info and i can just simply use str okay so i just have to import it this is already imported here so i can just use the str then i can use the replace first and then just simply write here hi replace with hello in this string is right here info and now let's check the output now you can see that hello is here so now what I think that I must have to use the first character in the uppercase which is the H should be the in the uppercase so what I actually do I can use the uh, uc first character uh, upper uppercase first first like this and I can just remove the all of them now let's see now you can see that H is capitalized here so but after that the requirement is that I have to use the camel case here so I just make it camel case so now you can see that uh the space is space is removed from here capital l capital l and capital l all right so now is it looking little bit ugly because we have to assign the values in the variable again and again and again so laravel actually introduced a new fluent string so what is that actually now let's see the power of it dollar info dollar info just use the str method of and in this method of I can just put here dollar info and now I can just simply use the chaining method like this first one is here then I can just simply use the second one or I can just simply use like this so that it will be look more nicer Mm -hmm. let's put here arrow and at the last just put here your last method here like this and now this these lines are commented now let's check the output now you can see that the same output is here right so if I just remove last one then you will see the output like this alright so this is the power of the fluent string which is actually really nice to write the code and your code will be look up, look more finer than the previous so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video